Julia Alvarez was born on March 27, 1952 to a Dominican family in New York City. In her early years, she moved to the Dominican Republic and spent her first 10 years living there. While living there, her family was involved with the dictator Rafael Trujillo. Rafael Trujillo was the Dominican Republic's dictator. He was an unelected military strongman who ruled the Dominican Republic from February 1930 until his assassination in May 1961. That era was known as the Trujillo era. This era is considered one of the most bloodiest eras ever in the Americas. Julia's father was involved with the anti-dictatorship organization to take down Rafael Trujillo from power. Rafael Trujillo found out about this organization, so Julia's family left the Dominican Republic in fear that something would happen to Julia's father. Julia's family then decided to go back to the United States. In the Dominican Republic, Julia would be teach American culture from her family because some of her family attended colleges in the U.S. In 1960, Julia attended school in the U.S. All she was teach in the Dominican Republic by her family didn't really work. She had trouble learning English and this made people to make fun of her and bully her. Julia understood enough to know the names they were calling her. Julia was also made fun of because of her accent. This led Julia to be alone all the time. Julia would often pick a book and read it when she was alone. She later started to write. She devoted all her free time to read and write. After high school and college, Julia became a teacher in creative writing. For years, Julia traveled across the U.S. to teach. She would teach until the district funds would run out, then she would move on to the next job. After five years of being a migrant worker, she settled down and became a teacher in high school level, then moving on to college level. She then reviewed a tenure, which is a permanent job contract granted after a probationary period of six or seven years. She then married Bill Eichner in 1981. In 1991, Julia Alvarez published her first novel called How the Garcia's Lost Her Accent at the age of 44. The book How the Garcia's Lost Her Accent is about the four Garcia sisters leaving the Dominican Republic and arriving to New York City in 1960. The Garcia sisters find out that their life is different when they have to meet the expectations and practices of the new world they live in now. What makes this book different is that the book is arranged in reverse chronological order, beginning with present and ending before they move to the U.S. Julia Alvarez includes parts of her life in the book she writes. In this book, she talked about when she moved to the U.S. and her expectations she had to meet. In 1994, Julia publishes her second novel called In the Time of the Butterflies, which is about the Mirabel sisters. The Mirabel sisters were assassinated by the government for acting against the dictator Rafael Trujillo in 1960. In 2000, Julia Alvarez publishes her first picture book called The Secret Footprint. In this book, she decides to keep her Dominican roots. This book is about creatures that live in an underwater cave named Guapas who fear human. Also that year, she wins the 2010 Pura Bepre Award for the Return of Sender. In 2004, Julia Alvarez wrote a poetry book called The Woman I Kept to Myself. Julia Alvarez was planning to write 30 poems for her 40th birthday to judge where she is from and where she was going. When she reached 30 poems, her 40th birthday had passed, so she said that she would write 40 poems for her 50th birthday. She kept going and she wrote 78 poems for the poem book, The Woman I Kept to Myself. In 2013, President Obama awarded Julia Alvarez the National Medal of the Arts for her extraordinary storytelling. The National Medal of the Arts is the highest award given to artists by the U.S. government. Julia Alvarez is an amazing author because she is a natural storyteller. Julia Alvarez writes about important events that she has gone through in life. She keeps her Dominican roots in books or poems to make it more natural.